welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Milena and I love makeup and fashion so for today's video I am going to be doing a first impressions of the Pat McGrath skin fetish sublime perfection foundation um, I've got two shades here so I'm going to be matching which one looks better with my skin tone and I will be putting uh, the foundation on with a brush on one side sponge on the other side and then I will be giving my honest first impression of this foundation what I think so if you'd like to see more stay tuned and make sure you don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video comment and share with your friends okay so uh, the first thing I'm gonna do before I apply the foundation is give you some details on the actual foundation so it does have a big price tag it's $68 um, it is Pat McGrath though which is a luxury brand so I wouldn't expect anything less. Um, as for the details, it claims to be a long-wearing, customizable foundation that builds from sheer to medium coverage. So the coverage is sheer to medium. Um, and it comes in a wide range of universal hues that manifest the ultimate sublime skin standard. So we will see how true that is in my opinion. Um, it is obviously a liquid. It says that the finish is supposed to be natural, which I love. I'm not really a fan of matte foundations, and I don't really like full coverage foundations, so I'm hoping that this is going to be just perfect for me. I love natural, satin, dewy foundations, and I love foundation that can be built up. I don't like anything to look too cakey on my face. I like things to look more natural, so I'm hoping that this ends up being a good fit for me. So now we can color match the two shades that I have and see which one suits my skin better. All right, so the two shades that I picked out for myself are light medium 14 and medium 18. I got these online, so I didn't really have the chance to go into the store and look and test them out on myself and see what they would be like, which is why I got two. I wasn't sure. I have some self tanner on right now, so I wasn't sure which one would be a better match for me. Um, I use a couple different foundations right now and I tried to use the color match on Sephora's website and it kind of gave me a couple different answers. So I thought I'd get both and see which one works better when I have a little bit of a spray tan on. So I'm not gonna lie, I kind of already tested these, but I did when I didn't have any self tan on. So they both kind of look dark but I am first going to test out the light medium 14. So this is what the bottle looks like. The bottle is literally so beautiful, so luxurious. You can, it definitely looks expensive. So as far as packaging goes, I'm not complaining at all. This is just beautiful and something that I want to keep center of my vanity. So good job to Pat McGrath on that. Um, oops, I kind of squirted out too much. It's definitely runny. It's very liquidy. And I definitely think this is going to be a better match than the other one. This is what it looks like on my hand. Um, and I put self tan on a few days ago, so my hands are a little lighter than the rest of me. Um, so I don't think it's going to look this dark on my face and my neck. But this is what it looks like when I blend it out a little bit. And then I am going to try medium 14 or medium 18 which I already know is gonna be way too dark but I'm hoping that if I do like this foundation this will be a perfect summer shade for me so we will see yeah this is way too dark <laughs> yeah this one is definitely not my shade right now I'm definitely going to go with this one, so I am going to get this off my hand, I'm going to prime my face, and I will be right back. Okay, so for primer, I am using the Too Faced Hangover um, Replenishing Face Primer. I'm just going to use this one because it's a nice hydrating primer. Um, I'm not going to use a pore filling primer because I want to see what this foundation does on its own, but I definitely want to still add some moisture to my face before I put any foundation on. So I'm just going to do a pump of that and put it all over my face. And this is a really good, not too expensive primer that 
is very, very hydrating. So this one I would definitely recommend for an everyday primer. And then I am going to go on the left side of my face with a sponge. I just have a beauty blender. Um, I am going to... I can't get over how pretty this bottle is. This is beautiful. She really, really did a good job on this packaging. So if nothing else, this is perfect. So I am just going to squeeze some out onto the beauty blender since it is so liquidy. And I'm just going to apply on the left side of my face with this. It does still look a little dark, but the past few days I've been washing my face nonstop. I've been doing skincare, so my tan kind of came off. So I can't really judge it from there. I'm sure it'll match my body a little bit better, though. So I did have to um, go in with a second pump to cover my forehead. Um, that is one thing that I don't really like too much. But if you've tried the Armani Silk Foundation, I also find myself doing the same thing with that. But that foundation is amazing. It gives great coverage. It looks amazing. So I don't really want to judge it too much off of that. So as you can see, it did give me pretty good coverage. Um, this side of my face compared to this side, you definitely don't see as many imperfections. I am going to go in with just a little bit more to see um, how this builds. So we will go over with one more layer. You definitely want to blend down to your neck, too. Um, when I wash my face and do my skincare, I also bring it down to my neck. So um, that might be why my neck looks a little bit paler as well. So I'm just going to bring that down. So I do have to say I'm loving how this looks on my skin right now. Um, it's making me look very just natural and glowing from within. It's not super crazy cakey, but it's not thin either. I wouldn't call it so much a sheer coverage. I would definitely say it's more, not medium, but it's up there towards a medium. So it definitely covers your imperfections up. Um, it's not going to be just like a CC cream, BB cream that type of thing it definitely does have coverage and I had a few imperfections right here that it did a good job of covering up so I am very happy with how it's doing with um, the beauty blender right now but I am gonna go ahead and move on to the other side with my brush so I am gonna be using the Sigma flat kabuki brush the F80 so I am going to um, I know this is kind of, this isn't what I usually do, but I'm going to put it directly onto um, the brush because it is really runny and liquidy. So I just want to make sure I'm not spilling any. So I'm going to go back in with a little more because I don't really... I'm going to try it on my hand actually this time and then see. I'm going to pick it up on the brush. Sorry, my hair is getting all over my face. And I also wanted to point out, so I'm trying to grow out my eyebrows. You can see they're really, really thin. Um, 
and that's because of years and years and years of over plucking um, I'm trying to get them thicker now more full I started using castor oil it's been about a week now and I'm noticing some growth actually I'm surprised at how quick I'm noticing it but I wanted to ask you guys if you know of any good products to grow your brows out so if you do have anything that you love that you recommend to grow out your eyebrows please put that down in the comments because I would love to try some more things and see how I like different products for growing my brows just so that I know what to keep using in the future so definitely make sure to um, put that in the comments and I'll take your advice okay so I used about two pumps on this side as well. I'm just going to put some on up my neck. So I would say for face and neck, to cover the entire thing, it's going to take about three pumps. Um, but on this side, I feel like it definitely covered my imperfections as well. I had one blemish here that was pretty noticeable, and I feel like it did a pretty good job of covering it up. Um, I would probably say that the brush did do a little bit of a better job of covering it up. If coverage is more important to you, I would definitely go with a brush over a beauty blender. But I think I like how the beauty blender side looks a little bit more just because it has more of that natural wearing foundation but not wearing foundation look to it. Um, I feel like you can't go wrong either way. I think I would just prefer to use a beauty blender rather than a brush. So as of right now, I absolutely love how this looks. This is exactly on my level of how I love my foundation. It's natural finish. It's not too crazy dewy, but it's not matte. It's not cakey at all. Um, you saw I layered on each side um, two layers of foundation and it still looks very natural. One thing I will say is it is kind of settling into my smile lines, but that happens with every single foundation I use, so I'm not really going to judge it based off of that. But as for the finish, I think it is absolutely stunning. I definitely would wear this out, and I'm really, really happy with it. Not only is the packaging perfect, but I'm really, really liking how this is looking on my skin. So as for right now... It's an A for me, um, but I am going to go put the rest of my makeup on, see how it works with the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. Alright you guys, so I have applied the rest of my makeup, and I was just looking at myself in the mirror, kind of just observing what the foundation was doing, and all I can say is wow. Um, I wasn't expecting to love this foundation as much as I do. It is just beautiful in every sense of the word. Um, the finish is perfect. The way that the rest of my makeup sat on top of it is insane. Um, I don't know if you can tell just how smooth everything looks on top of each other. I didn't do much around my eyes because I wanted the center focus to be on my face and my foundation, but it is so perfect. Literally, I can't say enough good things. I'm so extremely happy with how this turned out and I know how crazy expensive the product is, which makes me 10 times happier with how amazing this turned out because I honestly don't feel bad whatsoever on how much I spent on this foundation. It's crazy, like I said, but as far as the finish goes, the way that it covered up all my imperfections, uh, the way that all this other makeup sat on top of it, and as far as packaging goes, it is literally perfect. I cannot recommend this foundation enough. I don't know yet how it wears throughout the day. This is just a first impressions, but I will wear this foundation for the rest of the day, and I will put in the description box how I liked it for long wear, but as for first impressions, I'm extremely, extremely happy and I really, really, really recommend this. If you're in the market for something like this, definitely go for it. If you're someone that loves uh, natural finish medium coverage foundations, this is the one. So if you liked this review, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment, and tell your friends, and stay tuned because I've got more coming for you guys.